Lecture 7.2, Areas in the Plane. How can we find the area between these two curves? We could split the area into several sections, use subtraction and figure it out, but there is an easier way. Consider a very thin vertical strip. The length of the strip is y1 minus y2, or the quantity 2 minus x squared minus negative x. Since the width of the strip is a very small change in x, we could call it dx. Since the strip is a long, thin rectangle, the area of the strip is length times width equals 2 minus x squared plus x dx. We consider the strip a rectangle because it is so thin, the slight bevel on the ends is really not important. If we add all the strips, we get the integral from negative 1 to 2 of 2 minus x squared plus x dx. Taking the antiderivatives and then substituting in our limits of integration, We do a little arithmetic. And we come up with the area, 9 halves. The formula for the area between curves is area equals the integral from a to b of f1x minus f2x dx where f1 and f2 are y values. dx is the thickness of the strip. And if we're integrating with respect to x, then the limits of integration must be x values. We will use this so much that you won't need to memorize the formula. Here we have two curves, y equals radical x and y equals x minus 2. If we try vertical strips, we have to integrate in two parts. Because if you look at this picture, the first strip runs from the x-axis to the parabola, but the second strip runs from the straight line to the parabola. So we'd have different limits of integration for each one. We could do it this way. But we can find the same area using a horizontal strip. Since the width of the strip is dy, we find the length of the strip by solving for x in terms of y. Starting with y equals radical x, y squared equals x, And starting with y equals x minus 2, y plus 2 equals x. Our integral becomes the integral from 0 to 2 of y plus 2 minus y squared dy. 
y plus 2 minus y squared is the length of the strip. So we took the longest distance minus the shorter distance. dy is the width of the strip. And since we're using dy as our variable of integration, our limits of integration have to be y values. And as we look at the graph, y goes from 0 to 2. Now we take the antiderivative, plug in our limits, and we get the area, which is 10 thirds. A general strategy for area between curves. Step one, sketch the curves. Step two, Decide on vertical or horizontal strips. Pick the method for which it will be easier to write a formula for the length of the strip or for which you will integrate fewer times. Step 3. Write an expression for the area of the strip. If the width is dx, the length must be in terms of x. If the width is dy, the length must be in terms of y. Four, find the limits of integration. If using dx, the limits are x values. If using dy, the limits are y values. And five, integrate to find the area.